Hello and welcome to another cool smartphone video. Today we're going to be looking at the Microsoft Lumia 950 XL in conjunction with the display dock which is uh, getting a really bad hue from my TV there. So there's the display dock and also with a Microsoft 2-in-1 uh, combo keyboard and my HD co compatible TV. So let's turn the TV back on and through the simple act of plugging in the USB Type-C and unlocking my phone, excuse me, there we go, I now have a full Windows desktop, Windows 10 style desktop. Now I do apologize to begin with because unfortunately due to an issue which I'm unable to resolve, you'll notice down here in the bottom corner that I do only have partial icons. Um, this is something to do with my TV as far as I can establish. Now what is really interesting is up there I have my start menu. On my phone I also have my start menu. So my phone will behave as it does normally. So if I go into my email inbox, there we go, nothing on the screen. So this is truly acting like a second display. However, when I press the start button on the keyboard, I get my full display. So if I quickly open the Edge browser, for example, there we go, I now have a full Edge desktop style browser. Let's just go to a site of interest. Now this browser is also capable of running tabs. As you can see here. So I have the cool smartphone website there and it's trying to find the Engadget website. There we go. And just to really push it, let's put some YouTube on. So you can now see that we've got YouTube there and I'm going to run a YouTube video in the background and this will run despite Windows 10 not having a dedicated YouTube client this is running absolutely fine enough of that so pressing back to my start menu get my start menu back up and let's have a little bit of fun so although the phone is plugged in I can get a full camera experience from the phone. Unfortunately, I'm upside down. There you go, you can now see me. And you can see me. Okay. And we also get Cortana. So let's see what Cortana can do. Sorry about the finger there. Tell me a joke. What musical instrument is found in the bathroom? Fiddle Very humorous. So as you can see there, the Cortana is working just like it would on the phone. Okay. Um, what else can we do with Continuum? So let's go back down to the Start menu. We're going to go into All Apps this time. Now, when I go into the All Apps menu, you will notice that there is some apps that are greyed out here. These are apps that will not work on Continuum because they are not yet supported by Microsoft's Universal Platform uh, solution. Um, let's have a little look at files. So Windows 10 has a new integrated file explorer. As you can see here, I was in the file explorer previously. I was looking at music, 
So let's have a little bit of some music. And this is now playing off the external SD card from within my phone. We've even got the ability to Alt Tab to switch. Now you can see there that brought up the task switcher, and let's do that again. So we've got the full task switcher. I can go back into whatever app I want to be in. Let's open up something else. We'll open up um, the Maps app. We got the full Maps solution, okay, including all the rubbish. And you know no where I live. Okay, so this is a very brief overview of Continuum. Something else I want to show you is when you have the phone plugged in, you also get the, the option to use your finger on the phone as a touchpad. So if I just pan up to the screen again, you can see that by using my finger on the phone, I do get the touchpad. Now, there is one downside that I've noticed here and that is that for example this is the calculator app and if you look at it it is ridiculous that is a calculator app on a 32 inch TV the space isn't very well optimized let's just say that um, so it, it, it seems to be that it has to run at the full screen resolution now I'm not sure if this is something that you can change um, unfortunately, I don't have access to um, the buttons up here. I, you can just about make out that I can see where the cross should be. Um, so it could be that I'm just missing something there. If we try and get my cursor back, I do get a slight peek at the notifications area, but as you see, I, I'm missing some of the screens. So, unfortunately, this bug is uh, causing me slightly negative effect. However, uh, that is an overview of Continuum via Display Dock. Um, that was actually the USB flash drive we were reading. Let's just pop that out and. I'm just going to do one thing that I've not tested this, so bear with me. This is a OnePlus X. Let's plug it in and have a look and see what actually happens. Now, in theory, this should mount just like any other USB device. However, the battery seems to be low. So, you can see here that we... Oh, sorry, camera jutter. USB device might not work. Okay, so it's saying it might not work, but let's see if we can get it turned on. Okay, so it's possibly not going to turn on. Um, but if we go back in here, it hasn't appeared yet. However, it is starting up now, so we'll bear with it for a minute. Um, you've got full scroll capability via the trackpad here, so two finger scroll. Let's see. And you can pinch and zoom. That's not really anything new. Okay. Full tab switching again. Okay, so our OnePlus X has started up. Let's see if we can have a play. So we're going to see if the OnePlus X has actually identified. So let's go into File Explorer. And unfortunately it has not. So it has not actually picked up as a connected device. It is a bit of a shame. We are turned on. We are charging. Let's just quickly try reconnecting that. Okay, so it is saying on the phone the USB device may not work properly.
and I believe that's also being mirrored in the notification area, which I can't see. Uh, so regrettably, uh, that doesn't work out of the box. However, um, that would have been pushing it a wee bit, to be fair. So, 950XL with Continuum as a full desktop-esque PC. There you have it. If you like this video, please um, go ahead and like it on the we like or unlike tabs at the side. And also, please subscribe while you're there to see more content like this from coolsmartphone.com. Uh, the 950XL will feature in a full review, which will be up on the website very, very shortly. Thanks very much for your time watching this video, and uh, we look forward to bringing you more content along these lines.